Creating a LucidPress document is an easy way to start customizing, controlling, and sharing your design ideas. Start by setting up a free account at lucidpress.com, or if you already have one, go ahead and just log in. I'm going to log in using Google. Here you can see the folder tree on the left and any documents you've created in this central space. You can start with a blank document by clicking on the document button or jumpstart your project by using one of LucidPress's existing templates. Click on the green drop down arrow next to the document button to explore and preview all the different categories and designs that LucidPress has already built. If you find one you like, click on the template to start editing. I'm going to start with the Cobalt Cafe poster. Now we're in the LucidPress editor. If this is your first time here, it can be helpful to quickly acquaint yourself with the tools available. On the left is the content bar. It shows you all the items available to drag and drop onto your canvas. At the top of the screen is the option to return to your documents page or name your document. We'll name this one LucidPress Tutorial. Under your username, you'll find your account settings. And below that is the menu bar and the properties bar, which have all the common windows and actions you'd expect to find here, plus a few options to share, download, and order prints. If you need to see previous versions of your document, go to File, Revision History. Here you have the option to save a copy of any previous stage. This will create a copy of the document in your My Documents folder and automatically open the copied document. Click the X on the right to go back to your document. On the right hand side of the editor is a context pane. These tabs will change depending on the context. So you'll notice it changes when I click on text, an image, or even the background. And this area in the middle of the editor, where we'll be doing most of our work, is called the canvas. When working in a template, it's easy to adapt the design to match our brand assets. So let's go ahead and customize our document. Today we'll walk through text, shapes, and images. First, you can drag a text box from the content bar on the left, or click an existing text box and begin typing. You can customize the text formatting using the context bar on the right. Choose a new format or select from your brand fonts and colors. Here you can also find any settings related to the text box shape and the layout. Check out our other tutorials for a deeper dive on the awesome functions and features in the context pane, like text warping, linking, and locking features. To edit a shape, click on the item and return to the context pane for more options. I'm going to adjust this color to match my brand assets. It's easy to replace an image with your own. Simply double click the desired image to open the image manager, and from here you can select from your uploaded images, your brand images, or find a new image with Bing Search. I'm going to select a brand image. When you're ready to share your document with other collaborators, just click the blue Share button in the top right corner of the editor and enter the email of your recipient or select a group from within your team. You can select the appropriate permissions using the dropdown. To share your document externally, publish your document and create a custom URL, then share your document on social media, in an email, and on your website. Finally, beneath the canvas, we can access our collaboration tools. On the left-hand side, you can chat with other users editing the document, and on the right-hand side, you can leave comments. If you want to leave a comment on the document, make sure you're not selecting anything on your canvas and add a comment. To add a more specific comment, select an object first. And that's it, you've created your first LucidPress document. With these tools, you're well on your way to communicating visually. Check out our next tutorials to learn about more innovative ways to use LucidPress.